thesmartlocal.com <laughs> What do people in vlog say? Guys, I'm Hafiz and I'm Gerald, and we are the Mystery Men. Well, we've been tasked by the Big Boss Man to uncover mysteries that has plagued Singapore for the longest time. In today's episode, we seek to find out the answer behind the coin on the calculator. <laughs> Alright bro, so where are we going now? Uh, we're heading to SMU, find out what millennials think the answer is to the mystery. Remind them that uh, they need to calculate properly. Uh. To recognize the Singapore coin, I always thought it was for good luck uh, to bring in wealth. Because they put it at the counter where key money and all that. Same. Same. Yeah. So if I were to have the coin there, it's just for like, just to touch, just for fun. We're having quite a lot of trouble so far. People don't really want to talk to us. I think we do look very unfriendly. Hi, sorry. Can I have a few minutes again? <laughs> when you try. I think the couple behind us is ready for an interview. Let's just stand behind somebody. Yeah, turn, turn behind, turn behind. When you try your best. <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed. One eternity later. It's 1.03 pm and we've been at this for quite a while. It's okay, my spirit is not broken and dampened as long as. My bromance still is here. You want my destiny. You want my destiny. We are going to Temple Street and around there to find some shop owners. Pretty sure they know why. We should have us out. So a lot of people use this as feng shui item to bring good luck and expel evils. You know sometimes it's like, you know, with Taoism, ah, you know the Pakwa, the hang of the ah, the same thing like that. That's why they put the coin here like, money come come lah, you know. For me, it's more like, more luck lah, more money will come. Then especially if you paste on the calculator, I mean, wow, a lot of money to count lah, you see? So do you paste it on yours? No, I didn't. No. What, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I, I'm already good, so I don't need all this. So, we're finally back here in the studio after a long day outside. And Gerald, how was your first time experience going out there interviewing those people? It was a good experience, but we were quite sad that a lot of people avoided us when we were trying to ask them questions. Hafiz, what do you think about the answers though? Personally, I felt that some of the answers were rather entertaining and it comforted me a bit to know that most people out there are actually as curious as we were. But at the same time, we were lucky enough to get definitive answers from the shopkeepers themselves. So at the end of the day, Gerald, what do you think the outcome of this mystery is? I think it has been... So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we hope that it has given you some insights into this mystery. If you have any others that you would like us to solve, do comment down below. And as usual, if you want to watch other videos, here they are. And if you want to continue supporting us in our conquest, please like, share and subscribe down below. Peace out.